In this tutorial, we will be giving a basic overview of the PsycInfo homepage. The homepage defaults to advanced search mode. Later in this tutorial, we will discuss the various limiters to augment an advanced search. Let's examine the entire screen from top to bottom and left to right. In the top left corner, we notice key items like basic search, advanced, and about. Basic search hyperlink would lead to an open text box. However, we want a more powerful, flexible search tool, so we'll stay with the default advanced search mode. Just below the title of the search mode we are currently using, we see functions like lookup citation and command line. However, we will not be investigating those at this time. Of course, we notice the familiar text box. As we scan to the right, there are resources available to help us create an effective search, namely the thesaurus, field codes, and tips. Although we will describe their key characteristics, this tutorial is focused moreover on limiters. Briefly then, the thesaurus for PsycInfo is unique to this database. It does not use mesh terms or encompass the entire field of psychology. Instead, the subject headings were created exclusively for use in this database by experts at the American Psychological Association. The field codes are abbreviated forms for commonly searched items. If we click on the hyperlink, it leads us to a complete list of these codes. The tips provide the usual sort of help features you might expect, but seem difficult to navigate. Also on the right-hand side, there is a drop-down menu, which gives us more options, such as narrowing it to document or title, which would mean that the subject was important to the text as it was found in the title. But we will use those features to our advantage in a later example. An important aside that is useful to know is that this database has a peculiar organizational feature. The subjects are classified according to an overarching system known as the Psych Info Content Classification Code System. It can be retrieved by clicking on the American Psychological Association icon. At this point, we look under Publications and select our type namely databases, and once again we narrow it down on the right hand side to PsychLit Search Help and Training Center, which brings us to another level, namely database documentation, and we click on classification codes. If we scroll down this screen, we see examples of topics. Unfortunately, this screen is not available for us to look at while we are performing our search. We will close this window so that we can have the full screen once again of the advanced search mode. In our text box, we will type a keyword to begin our search. As you can see, much like the Google interface, the system attempts to guesstimate our query. Once you identify the topic that you were looking for, you can scroll down and click on the highlighted section. We could also use Boolean operators, but we are content for now to begin as broadly as possible. Moving down the screen, we observe search options or limiters available to us on the left-hand side. We will select Peer Reviewed to enhance the authoritativeness of our results. Date range is something we're familiar with, and we'll leave it open for now. We could click on Show Less to have a less cluttered appearance, like so. However, we want to briefly examine each element, so we will leave it open. We could select a location, however, that might unduly limit our results. In terms of tests and measures, this is an extensive listing of different types of scientific instruments, so we will not employ it at this point. It could, however, be extremely useful if we knew what type of diagnostic tool 
or instrument that we wanted to find within a particular study. Looking at record type, for our purposes, we will select journal. Methodology is another means to refine our search and depends largely on knowing how the study was conducted. In this case, we'll opt for a systematic review and treatment outcome. These should still provide fairly comprehensive results. In looking at the section on supplemental data, we see that it is primarily geared towards audio and visual learning materials. This would be inappropriate to select this early in our search. We will choose English as our language of choice. Age group identifies the various ranges by which we could target study participants. Target audience is a unique feature to this database. However, in our experience, selecting for the general public reading level is too limiting in terms of results. In the population category, we will choose human subjects to ensure that our population has the desired characteristics. We could change these sort results to a few other options, but we will leave it at relevance. One item we will change, however, is the items that we can see per page. By increasing it to 100, we will be able to view a lot more titles. We could always preview what the titles are and have a sense of the abstract by clicking on the word preview, which occurs beside the results. And now let's try our first search.